Hi and welcome to this week's Power Play. I'm Suzanne Chadwick, founder of The Connection Exchange, helping you build a business and career to love. So today we're going to do something a little bit different, which I'm actually really excited about. I wanted to review Lisa Messenger's new book called Daring and Disruptive. So, uh, so I have been a fan of Lisa's for quite some time. If you follow me on Facebook or anywhere else, you'll know that I'm a huge reader of The Collective magazine, which is all about game changers, thought leaders, style makers, uh, and her book is just along the same lines. It's awesome, it's inspiring, and it's amazing. So I have known Lisa's story for a while. I've sort of seen her speak uh, online as well as uh, in a few other forums. And so the Daring and Disruptive book really sort of gives a bit of an overview of her journey and her life in business uh, and some of the things that she's done and how she's really gotten there. So. I guess I just really want to share my thoughts on that today and then at the end of this video and uh, and this blog post I'm going to be really excited to uh, give a little bonus away as well. So, so daring and disruptive. This took me about two days uh, or two sittings to read. I read it on the flight up and back to Sydney. And, uh, and I just really wanted to share, I guess, some of the key things out of it. So, I mean, even from the beginning, the, the, he the headings or the chapters that she's put together are uh, believe, fearless, know your why, fail fast, dream big, dream often, culture up, invest in you, leverage it all, disrupt, do good, now go. And even uh, each section really provides some real insight into the journey that she's had. So some of the really key messages of the book is really about not looking for perfection, but rather really focusing on persistence and ensuring that you constantly go after what it is that you want. Even in throughout the book, there are, the graphics are fantastic as well, uh, the design. So uh, throughout the book, you've got these pages with photos of her as well as uh, her journal and just some inspiring quotes. So one of the uh, quotes in the book is, the only person who can stop you from achieving is you. Get up when you stumble, try another path when a brick wall appears and forge ahead with resolute self-belief even when the world screams no. And that I kind of feel sums up her whole book uh, and, and the message that she shares. Another great quote from the book is, you always need to let go of other people's expectations and live the life you want and feel you are meant to live. I read a powerful article recently about a palliative care nurse and she said that the number one thing people told her on their deathbed was that they wish they had lived their life without influence or constraint of other people's expectations. So, you know, and I talk about this quite a bit in the Connection Exchange, it's just really running your own race, living the life that you wanna live, and really creating something that's right for you without having to live it a life that you think other people expect you to live. So once again, really great message. The other thing is, is that with all the graphics, you do have to stop yourself from literally ripping the pages out to stick on a vision board because they are so great. You know, play big, get creative, allow yourself to get mad and surrender. The other thing that she really talks about is failing fast. So really identifying what ideas you have seeing whether they're gonna fly or not. And if they don't, then just move on. And I think sometimes we really connect and we hold on to these ideas that we have and we just continue to work at them until we think that they're gonna sort of work and something's gonna happen, even though we know maybe deep down that that's not the case. I think that when we have an idea that we know is going to fly and it's gonna be great, then to really power through and keep going is absolutely the message that she has. But if you know that it's not gonna not gonna fly then just let it go and just move on to the next thing that you can absolutely build on 
you know, Lisa's writing as well is, uh, it's creative, it's inspired, it's humorous. You know, you can absolutely, I love books where I can picture what happens uh, and the story that she tells where she was in Italy and all of her worldly possessions were, uh, were stolen and she ends up walking into the police station in just her bikini with, with no money, but just her passport. And even that whole scenario is so well written that you can just picture that happening. Um, so yeah, so when it comes to daring and disruptive, I just can't recommend it highly enough. I can't wait to read it again. I was actually thinking when I was on the plane, I didn't have a highlighter with me and I, and I didn't have my pen. So I really want to go through it again and start to write in, in the columns and, uh, and highlight the key areas that I think I really want to hold on to. So definitely get this book if you are looking to be inspired and you're wanting some great business advice as well. Uh, and I am so pleased to, you know, also offer this book as a giveaway on the blog. All you have to do is leave a comment and sign up or subscribe uh, and I'll be sending this out and I'll send it out anywhere in the world. So, you know, all of the competition details will be below. And, uh, and definitely sign up. This book is awesome. And, uh, and if you don't sign up, then definitely go out and buy it because it's well worth it. So I hope that you enjoyed that book review. There is so much to talk about in this book, but I kind of felt like I didn't want to give it all away. I wanted to share some of the things that I really loved about it. And, uh, and have a great week and I will speak with you soon.